Hello everyone, thanks for joining us here on Horizon. Well, to say a lot has happened to James Langford over the past five years could be one of the biggest understatements you're going to hear today. The one-time youth pastor now sits in the U.S. Senate, a politically meteoric rise that took many by surprise, including some of the more seasoned politicians that ran against him. Today, we'll spend our time learning more about Oklahoma's newest U.S. Senator, but before we do, a little background on a life that in some ways parallels an iconic movie character. It's a story that movies are made of, and a role that made Jimmy Stewart a movie star. Senator, you monster, I will not you. A political neophyte willing to risk all in hopes of helping his country. I want to make that come to life for every boy in this land. And a journey not that different than that of Oklahoma's newest U.S. Senator, James Langford. Let me show you around a little bit. First elected to the House in 2010, Langford had spent the previous 14 years as the director of the largest Christian youth camp in the country. Politics was not on the horizon for us. Give me a J. A youth pastor better known for his pipes than his politics. It's like James L. Jones and those Star Wars lips when he mumbles and grumbles little rum, you weak six like people. So when two-term incumbent Mary Fallon announced she was giving up her congressional seat to make a successful run for governor, Langford surprised many, even those closest to him, by entering the race. When I filed, everyone that was around me basically said, you, you just did what? But in a seven-way Republican primary full of better funded and more established candidates, Langford finished first. Tomorrow morning, the journey begins. Let's get to work together. Quickly rising to a leadership position in the U.S. House of Representatives. Hello, I'm Congressman James Langford from the great state of Oklahoma. But despite holding a safely Republican congressional seat, Langford surprised people once again when he announced his plans to leave the House of Representatives and run for the U.S. Senate. Uh, cybersecurity is a tremendous foreign threat that people are not paying attention to. It affects us in our day-to-day -day life. And just like in his first congressional race, the chief competition coming in the primaries from the powerful Speaker of the House, T.W. Shannon. Langford gave the green light to the Washington establishment for more spending, more debt. But when negative campaigning began to backfire against Shannon, a race many believed to be headed for a runoff, Langford instead won outright. Mr. Inhofe of Oklahoma. Mr. Langford of Oklahoma. Sworn in as only the 17th person to ever serve in the Senate from Oklahoma, Langford is once again a freshman lawmaker, but one that no one can now dismiss as inexperienced. People ask me all the time, what do Oklahomans want from their federal government? The answer is simple. They want to be left alone. They do not want someone else over a thousand miles away telling them what to do, how to run their business, and how to run their lives. It's not that people in Oklahoma are anti-government, far from it. We are grateful for people in government who serve faithfully every day. But we also understand that our federal government has a task, and it also has a territory. A change that Mr. Langford has gone to Washington to try to shape. A philosophy that I'll explore more with Oklahoma's newest U.S. Senator when we return. 